donated to the observatory around that time. It's a step up transformer named after its inventor, Dr. Nikolai Tesla. What he intended to uh, do with it is provide humanity free wireless electricity without the use of expensive wires. Uh, it would work like your Wi Fi router, basically, if we didn't use these instruments today. Imagine wanting to you look at night, you need light, you want you need to uh, transmit power to your home. This is how you do it, and wirelessly uh, you power up your devices, um, or your light, or your video games, or, or your microwave. Um, but it doesn't create electricity, it only alters its form, as I mentioned earlier. It takes the 120 or 220 volt current, which is alternating back and forth 60 times. It's being pushed through the copper coils uh, to about half a million volts, creating high frequency alternating current, which flows best through low pressure gas and over solid objects instead of through them. At this rate, the electrons are vibrating fast enough to be in the radio range. It's creating radio energy. Uh, even though there are practically half a million volts up there, there's zero average, which uh, in a sense, if that cage were in there, it would make it safe uh, for us to uh, stand by and not, not get fried or shot. Uh, since there's no average, the electricity would flow over our bodies. But if we get too close and accidentally touch one of those R's, we might get 30 burns or uh, if hit uh, at the wrong spot, we might die. Uh, so uh, the cage is a copper Faraday cage. It grounds the electromagnetic current before our Griffith renovation in 2006. Someone would hold on to a force and light to hit the switch and the light would turn on. Um, but if that were there today, it would uh, interrupt people's uh, pacemakers, um, uh, it would blow it up, or um, um, it would charge the batteries in your smartphones. Edison was promoting direct current, Tesla was promoting alternating current, which eventually became the standard uh, around the world. Um, a 60 cycle AC standard is the technology that's lighting this room right now. Edison was a better businessman, he was lighting elephants on fire using AC current, trying to uh, scare everybody and uh, say it's dangerous, but Tesla proved that it is not dangerous by lighting thousands of light bulbs uh, that were yards away at the Madison, or no, not Madison, uh, the Chicago Fair in the 1890s. Um, yeah, he didn't invent alternating current, Hippolyte Pixie did, but he promoted it and made it better. It's like the guy who invented the chair, uh, there, there was a guy who made, did it better, I guess. Um, uh, but this device uh, wasn't used eventually because um, he burst a generator in Colorado, uh, uh, drawing too much current. Um, uh, it broadcasts electricity in all directions instead of sending it to where we need it. There's something called the inverse square law. The further away you move from the device, the less current there is. Um, uh, I assume people far away from the Tesla station, if we didn't have a setup around town, that we would need hundreds of uh, thousands of gigantic Tesla coils. Uh, people far away won't get good electricity. We have things like refrigerators that are on 24 7, 365, and I imagine this is what we might have to hear, which is kind of annoying. Um, but even though we don't use these instruments today, it's important to know that Dr. Tesla was the pioneer and champion of alternating current electricity, and it is mainly because of him we use the, the AC uh, standard today. It's the technology uh, that's lighting this room, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, his ideas gave birth to the invention of the radio, the remote control, um, and uh, other inventions. So read about him, interesting guy. Um, and I think I got everything. Any questions, any comments? I'm going to fire it up one more time for the folks waiting. Three, two, one. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy your visit. Uh, if you have any questions about any of these exhibits, please ask the guys on the blue tags. Thank you.